Hey guys, we are really proud and happy to announce that Central Wisconsin Bees is again putting on our Beak Meat Conference. Uh, it is Beak Meat 2026, and the buzz is back. It is going to be held at Mid State Technical College. Uh, it's a much larger venue than we've had in previous years. Um, this year it's going to be on February 21st of 2026, so in just a couple of months here. Um, the conference is going to go on from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Saturday. Um, the cost is going to be $90 per person, uh, but luckily we still have early bird registration open until December 31st. And if you get in on that really good deal, um, then it's only going to be $80 per person. Um, and of course, after that, it goes up to 90, like I said, um, seniors and veterans will still have a discount, um, all the way until the, the registration closes. Um, this really is a great deal, uh, obviously because, um, lunch is included in every single ticket. So we're also going to have a morning snack. So it really is a great value to be able to get out here. We're going to have tons of vendors and some of the best speakers in the entire country um, at our show here this year. Um, as a special promotion, um, if you put hashtag BeakMeat2026 in the comments below, the first 25 people that register will receive a Hive Alive product um, at the door. So that's another incentive for you guys to to uh, sign up. So without further ado, Lori and I are going to get started on the speakers. We're going to go through the list and we'll be highly satisfied at the, the speakers that we're going to have here this year. So here we go. Our first speaker on the list is a real powerhouse in the beekeep beekeeping community. It is Randy Oliver and uh, he sees beekeeping through the eyes of a biologist. He now helps his son to run a commercial beekeeping operation of around 1,500 hives in the foothills of Northern California, managing them for migratory pollination, nuke sales, and queen and honey production. This frees Randy up to engage in full-time beekeeping-funded research projects. Randy organizes and digests the scientific research and is in touch with beekeepers and researchers from all around the world not only to broaden his own depth of knowledge, but to figure out best management practices for beekeepers everywhere, which he then happily shares through his various articles in bee magazines, speaking engagements, and on his website, Scientific Beekeeping. So if you appreciate all the work that Randy does, I'm sure you've seen him in all of the bee magazines, Bee Culture, um, Bee Journal. He's really active in the community. Make sure you go to his website um, and donate to his website because this is how he um, supplies the resources in order to do all these great scientific um, experiments that he does. You can also see um, he's going to be speaking for two sessions, so you'll really have a good chance to talk to him, ask him questions, and really absorb what he has to say. And next we have a spectacular speaker, David Burns. David started beekeeping in the early 1990s and started a beekeeping business several years later. In 2006, David began blogging and uploading beekeeping videos to YouTube. His YouTube channel has grown to around 152,000 subscribers, including us. He also produces a weekly beekeeping podcast, in 2020, David and Sherry were approached by Rock Ridge Press to write a book, Backyard Beekeeping, Everything You Need to Know to Start Your First Hive. He has produced a suite of online beekeeping courses that have become very popular among new beekeepers. David produces queens, nukes, and packages. In order to make sure beekeepers had the best and latest scientific information on bees and beekeeping, David became a certified master beekeeper through the Eastern Apicultural Society in 2010. He also writes a weekly column for Bee Culture Magazine. David teaches beekeeping workshops all year at their training center in Fairmont, Illinois. He also has a mentorship program known as Bee Team 6, talks throughout the country at beekeeping conferences, and is heard frequently on radio shows and podcasts. 
The next speaker on our list is James Lee from Northern Queen Initiative. Uh, James is the president of the Sustainable Beekeepers Guild of Michigan, a virtual education organization with over 750 local and international members. He is also the founder of the Northern Queen Initiative and owner of James Lee's Bees in Romulus, Michigan, where he lives with his wife, Rachel, and their five children. James man manages 60 to 100 colonies pursuing sustainability in apiculture and produces nukes and queens with a focus on hardy northern climate survivors selected for mite resistance. And uh, his presentation is going to be on breeding queens for all of us. Hey guys, our next speaker is speaking via Zoom. Um, his name is Dr. Patrick Fratellone. Prior to forming Fratellone Medical Associates, Dr. Fratellone was the Chief of Medicine and Director of Cardiology at the Atkins Center for Complementary Medicine under the direction of the late Robert C. Atkins, MD. Dr. Fratellone has been an adjunct professor at the University of Bridgeport College of Neuropathic Medicine since 2014, as well as the Pacific College of Oriental Medicine in New York City. He has been a board member of the American Apotherapy Society for 10 years and serves as its current president. He is also a board member of the American Herbal Guild. And he is going to be speaking about venom treatment and Lyme disease. The next presentation we're going to have is actually a pair of presenters. Uh, first one is Brooke Nicola Sommerfeld. She's the apiary program coordinator in state apiaries for the state of Wisconsin. In these roles, she performs colony inspections, collects bee samples for diagnostic testing, promotes the Wisconsin Pollinator Protection Plan, and beekeeping best management practices. She also provides education to out and outreach to groups throughout the state. She also worked at the University of Wisconsin Bee Lab for nine years. Carla Prawl, DVM, is a graduate of Oklahoma State University College of Veterinary Medicine. She is a mixed animal practitioner with a focus on production, animal medicine, and surgery. Her practice is located in Athens, Wisconsin. Her interest in honeybees and beekeeping came about after the FDA instituted the Veterinary Feed Directive in 2017. She now has a small apiary and has incorporated honeybee medicine into her practice offerings. And the pair are actually going to be speaking about hive diseases and actions to take. So this is a really great team and uh, it's really nice to be able to have a vet um, that you can actually talk to and uh, get any instruction from that you need. Hey guys, our next speaker is Fred Dunn. Um, we got to meet Fred Dunn at Nobby. Um, him and his wife are extremely nice people. And I think you'll thoroughly enjoy Fred's presentation because he always has such a great sense of humor. You're probably going to be busting a gut as well. Um, Fred is a honeybee educator focusing on backyard small-scale beekeeping. He shares the intricacies of bee biology and management primarily through his YouTube channel, Frederick Dunn, and podcast, The Way to Bee. He manages many beehive variations on his rural Pennsylvania property and has been obsessed with bees and their secrets since 2006. As a Cornell University master beekeeper, Fred uses scientific methods to improve management practices and evaluate tools and hive configurations across the broad spectrum. The next speaker up is Dr. Angelina Perotti. Uh, she is the founder of Melifloral. This is a company that um, actually tests your honey for you and tells you exactly where it comes from, the pollen content. Um, it's actually a really neat thing to do. Lori and I did it. Um, it is uh, something that everybody should do at least once. It really gives you a good idea of what is actually in your honey, where it's coming from. Um, when we did it, we had a few surprises. We had some chestnut trees in there um, and a couple other things. I thought it would be almost completely basswood, but there's quite a variety in the honey that's out there. So um, she has a, a PhD from the Texas A&M University and has over 10 years of Melissa Polony 
polynology experience. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, she was trained by the prominent polynologist Dr. Vaughn Bryant and is excited to build on his legacy of offering pollen analysis to the beekeeping and honey community. Okay, the next speaker is a phenomenal speaker who is very knowledgeable on bee nutrition, literally wrote the book on bee nutrition. Dr. Dale Hill is a semi-retired semi animal nutrition consultant with more than 40 years of animal nutrition formulation experience with livestock, pets, and non-traditional animal species. Dr. Dale Hill researched and developed the AP23 product that is sold by Datent. Um, ADM owns the patent. He updated and expanded the nutrition chapter in the Hive and the Honey Bee 2015 edition. Dr. Hill is past president of the Illinois State Beekeepers Association and received the ISBA Pioneer Award in 2018. He had tw 20, 12 to 20 hives for 15 years until he relocated to South Dakota in 2020. Due to shoulder surgery, his beekeeping activities now involve teaching beginning beekeeping, mentoring new beekeepers, interacting with local beekeeping groups. And he has also been teaching the nutrition section of the universe at the University of Montana Master Beekeeping course for the last eight years. He was actually mine and Mike's teacher because um, Mike and I both got our um, Master Beekeeper certification um, at the University of Montana. And we really loved have, you know, having him for one of our professors. Um, he is also a retired U.S. Naval Reserve officer, so a military veteran as well. So hopefully you can come see Dr. Dale Hill, um, and he can talk, talk to you about how to feed your bees. And his presentation is um, Winter Feeding for Survival. And last but not least on the list is Mike and Lori from Hamburg Honey. Um, as master beekeepers, we have grown our operation to around 80 hives. Uh, I'm the president and Lori is the vice president of the Central Wisconsin Beekeepers Association. We are involved in a great deal of teaching from elementary schools all the way through colleges. In addition, we have a YouTube channel with several educational beekeeping videos. The biggest challenge with educating people about bees that we need to change is their mindset. Not all insects that fly and have stingers are honeybees. This is a hurdle that we, we encounter at nearly all of our classes. Um, so we're actually going to be teaching a class on beginning beekeeping. Um, every beak meet that we've had so far, uh, we allow the attendees to leave comments. And almost across the board, at every beak meet, uh, there's a few people that comment that they would like to see a beginning beekeeping class. So Lori and I are going to tackle the beginning beekeeping. So we hope you guys can uh, join us. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, like we said below, if you comment and hashtag beat 2026 and you register for the conference, you'll get a Hive Live product at the door. So hope to see you guys there.